looking at catalysts for the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. We've got 10 centimetres cubed of 6% hydrogen peroxide in the measuring cylinder, and we've pre-weighed our first solid, which is manganese 4 oxide, into the conical flask. We've got 0.1 grams. We now clamp the conical flask in an upright position, and you can see that we've got a gas syringe to measure any gas oxygen gas that's produced by the decomposition. So although this um, method is flawed at the start, it has the advantage of keeping the solid, uh, which may be hazardous, where we want it. Uh, so here we go, let's start the clock at the hydrogen peroxide, give it a little shake and put the plunger in. So start timing on five centimetres cubed of gas, which was there. That's 10. And you need to make readings of the volume of gas evolved per time, per unit of time from the stopwatch. Occasionally you have to give the barrel of the gas syringe a tap just to make sure that the plunger is moving freely.
So we'll stop taking readings at about 5 minutes 30 seconds, assuming that it took about 30 seconds to start the reaction off. We will then be able to record results for 5 minutes. So there, let's stop that reaction now.